Lincoln would like to introduce the next product. Or not. Come on, Lincoln, just show over your cute face. Yeah, that's your cute face. Goodbye. Okay. So, this is the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment, which is a new version. They originally had their other version, which I wasn't very happy about. And they've made several great changes. So, uh, they call this a serum to resurface and renew the skin overnight with alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids. So, packaging, standard dropper bottle. Don't love it, but... What are you going to do? So, in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, this new version does not have any of that. Their previous version did have uh, denatured alcohol. One, two, is the sixth ingredient. So, this is a great change that they've made. And when it comes to fragrance, the new version is also fragrance free. The original version had several fragrance ingredients lime oil, lemon oil, orange oil, bergamot oil, and grapefruit peel oil. So, that is two great changes they've made instantly which uh the older version to be honest i wasn't very excited to even try it because the ingredient list wasn't great it had the alcohol and it had so many citrus oils that um i don't know why some brands think citrus oils are like great for skin but they're just not especially if you're gonna be outside at all citrus oils can really damage the skin so you're better off avoiding them as much as you possibly can so two great changes they've made uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. And let me do a pH test because pH is very important with uh, exfoliating products. And since this one contains a 10% exfoliating blend of AHAs and BHAs, uh, the pH is very important. So the pH you want for, it's got glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid. You want the pH ideally to be between, be between 3 and 4. And the nice thing is with this one, it is. I would say the pH of this one is probably like between about 3 and a half-ish, I would say. So uh, it's perfectly right in there. So no issues at all with that. So I did a great job with that. And you just don't know. So... Uh, the texture of it's very nice. You can apply a few drops at night to clean uh, clean skin after you've cleansed, toned, and used any essences. It absorbs quickly. Uh, if you have time in your routine, I highly recommend you apply this and give it a minute or two, or as long as you can, up to like seven or eight minutes. The longer, the better, just to give it time to absorb and start working, because if you apply something right after it without waiting any time it just dilutes it and decreases the effectiveness so if you can give it a little bit of time to absorb and start to work it will work better for you so uh if not there's not much i can do about it but anyway uh if you are new to skin new to skin new to skin exfoliants uh, I highly recommend you start very slowly, use it maybe once a week, work up to twice a week, and then slowly work your way up. 10% uh, is stronger, but glycolic acid and lactic acid can be a little bit more gentle. So it's not, it's pretty strong, but not crazy strong. But I still recommend starting out slowly, especially if your skin is sensitive. So, and if you can work your way up to maybe using it every other day, that's great. So very easy to use, absorbs nicely, non-greasy, and uh, I recommend using it in your evening routine and use the sunscreen in the daytime. That is key. Okay, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So this one's a 10% blend of uh, glycolic acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. So glycolic acid is uh, probably the most studied and most proven exfoliating ingredient that exists. Uh, lactic acid is also a great alpha hydroxy acid and lactic acid can also help with overall skin hydration levels and then salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid which is a great one to help with pores help prevent breakouts and anti-acne exfoliant so it's nice that they've included a blend of all three of those i do wish i knew which percentage each of them was in but i don't know so Obviously, glycolic acid, I would say maybe like 5% glycolic acid, maybe like 
3% lactic acid and 2% salicylic acid. That would be my wild guess, but... Um, okay, so then we've also got vitamin E, which is a great antioxidant hydrating ingredient. Sodium hyaluronate obviously shows up in every product I review, which is good for skin hydration. Um, overall, it's got a pretty good list of exfoliant ingredients. It doesn't have a really long ingredient list. I would have liked maybe a couple more skin soothing ingredients or hydrating ingredients, maybe some tel centella asiatica in there. That would have been nice to see, but overall, they've got some good exfoliants. I do recommend if you're going to use this one, use it in conjunction with a good antioxidant serum or a hydrating moisturizer afterwards. Uh, in terms of animal testing, Good Molecules is cruelty free and this is vegan as well. So for performance, uh, it certainly helps exfoliate your skin. Uh, the longer you use it, you'll notice your skin looks clearer, maybe a little bit brighter as well, which is nice. Uh, it kind of helps firm the skin as well and even slightly help a little bit with fine lines. Does a great job exfoliating without leaving your skin feeling dry. A lot of exfoliants can leave your skin feeling dry or irritated. This one doesn't do that. Um, it does contain a few acneogenic ingredients. Vitamin E is one, sorbitin olate is one as well. It's also a fungal acne trigger and then butylene glycol. Uh, price, so this is the full size, which is one ounce, 30 milliliters, and it's six dollars which is to me for a great exfoliating serum that's well formulated proper ph and no fragrance or alcohol you can't beat six dollars i think this has to be the most affordable one i've tried i don't think the ordinary's exfoliating products are more affordable so um the price you can't beat uh, now it comes to the it factor really enjoy this one effective Proper pH, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, super affordable, cruelty-free. It's the triple threat. Fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and cruelty-free. What, what would it be if it's like the five threat? I don't know. Whatever. The cinto threat. Triple threat, whatever. Quadruple threat. Something quad threat. I don't know. So, anyway. Uh, you can tell I'm pretty impressed with this one. And if you're on a budget you can't beat six bucks. So certainly worth checking out. Their new version is so much better than the original version. Um, and if you tried the original version and were kind of in eh about it, I highly recommend checking this one out for six bucks. So anyway, on a scale of 10, this got a 10. So it doesn't happen often, but this one is a great product. Highly recommend checking it out. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this out yet, or if you know of a more affordable exfoliating serum let me know because six bucks i don't know if there's anything cheaper but you never know so anyway leave a comment i love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much guys Come here, Duty. Lincoln! Come here. Come here, Lincoln.